in today's episode, uh, we're not working on these two uh, not manly cars. We're working on a real vehicle, my 2008 Ford F350. In today's episode, we are installing a radio, as well as an adapter for a radio. So we were, uh, how do I say this? We were approached by a company to do some videos for them. And uh, I was actually kind of looking into upgrading because I don't have Bluetooth or anything in that truck. So I was looking to upgrade my radio anyways. So this company, Autoto, is right there. Um, they make these Android Auto touchscreen infotainment navigation, whatever you call it, all that Android Auto stuff that new cars have. So in order to put this into my truck, it's a dual DIN. So of course Ford doesn't make a dual DIN. They have like a somewhat dual DIN that's not universal. So you have to buy an adapter. So this is only about $15 on Amazon. It adapts to make my truck a real um, dual DIN. And then you can put this sucker in there. Also, they sent a backup camera. So you put your truck in reverse, the backup camera will come on on the screen. However, we're not 100% sure if we'll be installing this because I already have a backup camera in my mirror. So unless I switch out that whole mirror, um, I won't be installing this. And to be honest, I don't really use backup cameras to start with. So we're gonna quick do an unboxing for you guys. Um, we don't know what's inside. We'll figure it out together. So let's cut to that. So if you're wondering why we got an Android Auto, it is because I've always used an Android device. This is a Blackberry that runs Android. Yes, Blackberry still exists. Let's unbox this. Ooh, very tightly packed. This is the back, all the connections. Um, not sure if all of them will be used for every vehicle, probably not. There's also a built-in fuse. I'm guessing that's for like main power so you don't wreck the whole thing. And that's the screen. It's actually very large. About as big as the screens you can put in a dual DIN. So I'll just do a basic rundown of the front here. So you got some main things. You can still plug in your aux, you got SD, and you got physical buttons for all your essentials like volume, home button, power, so you don't have to worry about going through different menus to click on the essentials. It looks like a really, really great product and it comes with all of the things that you'll need for, at least that we'll need for our basic function of the thing and instructions. So it should be pretty straightforward install. So if your car doesn't have an actual dual DIN, you can get these cheap adapters. This was on Amazon, like I said, 15 bucks. Basic plastic converts some hardware instructions pretty straightforward hello everyone today we're going to install something right here we're going to rip my dash part also this is my spicy water i'm canadian and i know french it's called perrier it's very good for you okay let's rip this apart okay so like two weeks ago, I think I watched a video on how to do this, so I don't really remember, but I do know that these, so this cigarette out, cigarette outlet, and this square here where the aux port is, I know those two have to pop out. And then, I think most of the stuff actually, the, all this stuff will come out with this whole black piece, and it'll probably just hang by wires, so we'll, we'll see. I might have to unplug everything. I'm not sure yet. So obviously your vehicle will differ unless you have a 2008 to 10, I think it's eight to 10 body style truck. Obviously if you're doing this in a Honda Civic, it would be quite different. But obviously on a Civic it'd be easier because this is a Ford. It's only made to be worked on by Ford certified technicians. Oh, there's bolts.
we succeeded. That's a big doohickey. Okay, I cut myself somewhere. For sale, 100 bucks. As I tend to my rescue 911 emergency, so I don't drip blood on my truck, um, we'll look at these things. Sometimes you can get adapters to go from whatever your thing is to this. If not, we can just splice either way. It's not a big deal. This was the very easiest thing in a Ford to take off probably. Everything else is extremely complicated it seems like. And um, we'll be back with either our new parts or a box of electrical stuff to splice. So I'm just off camera because it's kind of boring. But like this is like the Wi-Fi antenna and then there's a GPS antenna or the other way around. Not sure which one's which, but the 3M sort of style sticky stuff that they give is not very sticky. So I'll probably just end up putting some glue and I'm gluing it up against the top of the dash. There's a nice big hole here. Hopefully the wire won't get in the way of when we actually put the thing in, but it's pretty thin. So. Yeah, let's put a little bit of like silicone or something in stick it. So this adapter here we got off Amazon. They make it for like every single kind of vehicle. And then you're still gonna have to splice, but at least you got exposed ends. And it just, I don't know if there's universal colors for things, but most of the colors lined up with the colors from the kit. So there wasn't even much brain activity. And then we just uh, soldered them, shrink wrapped, and then we just, did this all together so safer and this plugs into the Ford this plugs into the new Android Auto Autoto and then it might work okay so we just quickly plugged all the wires in lots of this we're not filming because it's boring to be filmed but we just want to let you know it is very straightforward it gives you the instructions and that thing is pretty easy to splice. It just takes time, but it's very straightforward. So now, before we put everything back together, we're gonna make sure our wires are right. And I'll just turn the ignition on and this thing should come on. Whoa, that was quick. That was very quick. I don't even know how that happened. Let me go to music. That's pretty quick. I'm very surprised. This thing's actually fast. So under first impression there, just testing to make sure everything works, it came on actually like instantly. Within like a second it was on. And that's actually quicker. And like when you click things, it's instant. That's quicker than I've experienced with a brand new Volkswagen. And this is quicker. That's sad Volkswagen. Step up your game. So anyone that's contemplating doing this on their vehicle, uh, first of all, highly recommend it because so far, so very good. Um, also, like when it comes to adapters and stuff, like this is to make it a true doubled in, this uh, plastic y thing. And literally just search on Amazon your vehicle, doubled in adapter or whatever adapter you need, and just buy the first thing. That's what we did, and it worked. And same with the wiring, we just typed in universal, I don't know, we typed in wiring harness adapter for radio or something like that for this exact model truck. And yeah, something will pop up and it's likely what you need. Amazon Prime it. So this should be the final time I have to plug this stuff in. This one here is Wi-Fi for Wi-Fi purposes, internet purposes. So this is basically, basically what these are, Android autos is uh, Android like you'd have on your phone, unless you're weird and use an iPhone, like the camera that's filming this right now. But I've always used Android, Android's pretty good. And uh, yeah, this basically gives you the functionality of your phone, plus more, plus more on the car aspect side. Ignore the self taps, they're not working. So we just put the four bolts in that hold the uh, this thing in. 
Looks like I'm a little off kilter here. But now I'm just gonna press down everywhere because it's full of clips. Um, yeah. Much easier going off than going on. As you can see, my cut, <laughs> for what hand it was on, is healing because this is like a week later. It is actually extremely deep. I don't know what I cut myself on, but it took forever to stop bleeding, even though it was only looked very small. Workplace safety, everyone. Wear your hard hats. So, fully installed. Extremely happy with how this turned out. And actually, something I just noticed now, this adapter we got is this almost exactly the same texture as this. So it actually, like, that's really sweet. Anyways, quickly connected it to internet. Um, went on Google. Go on Google. Uh, apparently, lots of people are looking at Cardi B got robbed. So you can click on that. And as you can see, ignore the the screen protector job we put on here. But, yeah. It's working like any cell phone would work. There's buttons here, and there's buttons. Like, so there's a home button here, but you can use a physical button. Yeah, it works really great. I'll mention some of the features quick. So there's power here, I guess, if you wanna have it off when you drive. Volume up and down. I guess this is if you're listening to music, you can go next or back. And then the home button. And then this is the way it comes, like this is the screen you have. So that is a radio station. I think. Radio station. Uh, this would be for your backup camera, which we didn't hook up. Yeah. And a bunch of car stuff. You got your maps, music, a video. There's a podcast app. And then Bluetooth for your phone. It works extremely well. Look at that, YouTube. <laughs> it works really good. And that was, actually, that was the first test to make sure the speakers work. And it sounds like all my speakers are working through this thing. So that's great. Nice. And should power off when you open your door. That's pretty neat. So this is what we just installed. The brand is Atoto. Uh, it's called the A6 Pro. Um, works really well. Highly recommend it. Um, sorry we didn't go as in depth as we did. Didn't. We could have went more in depth, but we didn't because it's a, a bit boring and it is actually very straightforward. Anyone with like a little bit of experience with wiring. Half a brain, you mean? Half a brain. You can figure it out. That's what came out. So, that's like 1900s technology, and we put 2000 it's technology. My age, my, my speed. Like, subscribe, and check out the link below to purchase this product or look into it if you're curious. And of course, you can ask us any questions in the comments, and we will try to get back to all your comments. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.